uh, we're going to hold off for just a little bit longer. Six minutes to touchdown, altitude 1,300 miles. Altitude 14 miles, velocity 1,300 miles an hour. Just under Mach 2. 53 miles to the landing site. Atlantis, Houston, you're on energy approaching the hack. The wind change is zero four zero at four, which breaks down as four from the right, and you are nominal shoot. And our plan right now is to leave air data to nav inhibited. Copy the wind, nominal shoot, and copy the nav plan. Spacecraft uh, Communicator Tony Antonelli letting Commander Brett Jett on Atlantis know that the shuttle is on course and proper speed as it approaches the runway. Velocity 760 miles an hour. About to slow below the speed of sound. Altitude 10 miles. Or 55,000 feet. 32 miles to the runway. Commander Brent Jett now in control. Shuttle now at 560 miles an hour. Altitude 43,000 feet. 25 miles to the runway. Three and a half minutes to touchdown. Atlantis will making a right-hand turn around the uh, heading alignment circuit to line up with the runway. Atlantis, Houston, on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Pilot Chris Ferguson now flying. A call that the course is on track at the 180 degree mark of the heading alignment circle on runway on the way to runway 33. Speed 470 miles an hour. Altitude 1,000 feet. 13 miles of the runway. This is a view from the heads-up display, providing a point of view of the pilot. Atlantis, Houston, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. That call at the shuttle is on course at 90 degrees as it aligns with the runway. Commander Brett Jett now controlling again. A minute 45 seconds to touchdown. Houston copies, field and sight. 
Speed 400 miles an hour, the runway in sight. Altitude 100,000 feet or just about two miles. Six and a half miles to touchdown. Speed 400 miles an hour. One minute to touchdown. Thirty seconds to landing. Three hundred seventy miles an hour. Altitude two hundred twenty five feet. Gear down the lock. Touchdown. Drag shoot deploy. Nose gear touchdown. We'll stop. Welcome back. Congratulations on return to assembly. We have no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 for post-landing. Thank you, Houston. Uh, it's nice to be back and uh, it's a great team effort, so I think assembly's off to a good start. We'll see you on 5-3. And spacecraft communicator Tony Antonelli welcoming Commander Brent Jett and the STS-115 crew of Atlantis home after a successful landing on runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, completing a journey of uh, 4,910,000 miles. Successfully resuming the assembly of the International Space Station with the delivery and installation of a brand new truss structure and solar array. Atlantis' landing convoy will now begin maneuvering into place. Almost 80 personnel on hand at Kennedy Space Center to help safe the vehicle. Again, this was uh, the Space Shuttle's 15th night landing at Kennedy Space Center, the 21st night landing in all, the 63rd landing at Kennedy. Concluding the Space Shuttle program's 116th mission. Have you loud and clear.